Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, today is going to have uh, 1,600 uh, local high school children learning about how to give back to the community and how to get involved in the community. When I was reading about this stuff online, I was like, wow, it's really cool what these kids are going out there and doing. And I'm really happy to meet everybody, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that they're coming out to hear me talk, and uh, I really hope that I can inspire them to go out into their community and uh, try to follow their dreams and uh, just be more confident. <laughs> well, I've actually been working since I was four years old, so I've been in the show business for a long time. But yeah, it's definitely great. Sunny with a Chance was like my first big break, and so it's been really great seeing all the kids' reactions and having fans come up to me and say hi. And so uh, being part of the Disney family is definitely a great experience. When we were 14 years old, we had been wanting to start a charity, but we didn't know like how or what we were going to do or what charity we were going to like donate our funds to. And one of the girls saw an episode of the Oprah Winfrey show where they showcased a rescue mission of the children in Ghana. And once we saw that, we knew that that was going to be our cause and those were going to be the children we were going to help. The Holocaust Museum was a very big honor to be on a wall next to people like Harvey Milk and Martin Luther King Jr. That was definitely one of the highlights for me. We got to actually walk through the museum, and I remember when we saw it, we were all amazed. Like Haley was saying, like we're on the wall with Harvey Milk and like Martin Luther King. I would never think like of myself as being at the same like caliber as them, and like that someone saw us like that. We were all just we were so honored. The name is very important because it basically symbolizes that doing one thing is better than doing nothing at all. Giving that one dollar is better than just like passing us by like, oh hey, got some el something else to do. Or you know, to make that one lemonade stand is better than just like, going oh, to watch TV. So basically we just want to like inspire people that like doing something is better than doing nothing at all. At seven years old, I was um, interested in music, having played violin for four years, and uh, also interested in the brain, having read uh, Dr. Fred Epstein's autobiography, Gifts of Time. Uh, Fred was the preeminent pediatric neurologist, uh, I'm sorry, neurosurgeon at the time, and I just felt compelled to meet him. So I wrote him a handwritten letter, and it said, Hi, Dr. Epstein, I'm seven years old, um, I'm a professional violinist, and uh, I'm really interested in uh, neurosurgery, and I'd love to meet you. I saw kids, you know, with severe neurological deficits undergoing treatment and I turned around to him and announced that I was going to help his kids. And we started by taking kids from local conservatories, Juilliard and High School of Music, bringing them into the playrooms of Beth Israel North and NYU and LIJ and playing for the kids. We raised money to help girls um, go to treatment for eating disorders who can't afford treatment. If it's founded by three teenage girls, I'm one of them. We we're all in treatment together. We suffered from eating disorders. Um, we all suffered from anorexia nervosa for all about five years, all of us together. And we kind of grew in our recovery together. We were three best friends and we helped each other grow. So insurance doesn't cover eating disorders. They think it's a mental illness, not a medical illness. And they don't cover it. So it's $30,000 a month. And People won't get the treatment they needed or they'll get treatment for 12 days and then they're sent back with the same old feelings, the same problems, and then they're set up for relapse. Eating disorders are number one, not a joke. Number two, that they need to have positive body image and self-esteem and they need to be positive within themselves to move forward with their lives and that um, the negative fat talk, I guess, um, needs to be eliminated completely um, because it really does have an effect on people around them and themselves. In seventh grade, um, we had a pro like a science project, and it was on like environmental topics. The person with the lowest grade got to pick last, and the person with the highest grade got to pick first. And I had the lowest grade, so I got what was ever left, and what was left was waste management, and. I didn't really want to do a project on waste management because that's ridiculous. <laughs> but um, 
I did it and I went to the landfill and I was so surprised by what was at the landfill. So it inspired me and I started advocating for greener for uh, like greener businesses and worked with the community. The main message that I have is that you don't have to be the star athlete, the star anything, the best at this, the best at that. I mean, the reason why I started this whole thing is because I have the lowest grade. So you don't have to be the best at everything to do something really good and you know be a leader. And what we want to do is get our message of One is Greater Than None out to the younger generation so that it can stay alive and that other kids can be inspired by what we're doing to start their own organizations and it can kind of be like a chain reaction in the world. Can you better place? <laughs> it's the way I was brought up, that you didn't have a choice. You had to use whatever you had to give back to the community. And that's what I want to impart. It's a very empowering message because we all do have these talents. And I think that if we all, you know, make a pledge to use those talents for positive change, the world tomorrow is going to be a far better place. My definition of beauty is kindness and giving back and that's what these kids need to know, that it's not about what your hair looks like or what makeup you have or what jeans you're wearing. It's about giving back to other people and making yourself feel good by doing that.